Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can install mods on a 24-hour Minecraft server. Now, when I go into this video, I'm going to be assuming you've already got 1.7.10 Forge installed on your server. If you don't, there's a video on your screen right now that will show you exactly how to do that. So go watch that video and then come back here and we can get started. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into it. First off, we need to download FileZilla right here. This is the first link in the description down below, so go down there, click that. It will take you to this page where we want to click Download FileZilla Client, and then we want to click right here, Download on SourceForge. It'll take us to SourceForge where we can then automatically download it. Now, I've already got FileZilla installed, so I'm not going to be installing this, but simply double-click on it and go through it like you would any other program, and you'll install it perfectly. Now, once you've got that installed, we need to go to the Multicraft. I'm going to be using Apex Minecraft Hosting's Multicraft for this. You could use whatever server host you use, but I use Apex because they're awesome. And so we're going to go to apexminecrafthosting.com slash Multicraft, hit enter. It'll take us to a page that looks kind of like this. We want to select the server we're going to be working with, and in my case, it's going to be YouTube server. So if we click on that, it will open it up, and as we can see, Forge 1.7.10 is running. Let's go ahead and stop this server right up here. We'll go ahead and slow things down and stop the server. It'll take it a minute, but uh, luckily we can go ahead and move on to what's next. Now, to install Forge mods and have them work, right, you need to install them locally as well. Thus, we have to install Forge locally. To do this, we need to go to the second link down below, files.minecraftforge.net, where we can then download 1.7.10-recommended right here. Go all the way over into EC Installer, click that, it will take us off to AdFly, where if you have any issues like this one, right, simply right click and reload, which is going to work for me. For you, you might have to Google how to enable cookies on whatever browser you have, go through all of that, do all that stuff, come back, and this should work. These mod creators have to use AdFly to get a little bit of money back for all of the work they put into their mods, so it's worth it for uh, us to have to deal with it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click Skip Add, and it will now download Forge. Now, we also need to download a mod to test on this server. For me, in my case, I want to use Dr. Ciano's Wonderful Wands and Wizarding Robes mod. You can use whatever mod that is server compatible to test this and uh, install it. So let's go down here and quickly uh, click right here, which is the 1.7.10 version of the mod, and then click download right there. Downloads the mod, click keep, there we go. We can close out of this, close out of this, we want to keep multi-craft up. Now to do this, let's simply minimize this right here to see we both have Forge and Sienna's wonderful mod. Right, we're going to need this twice, so get ready. First off, let's go ahead and install Forge locally. This is pretty easy to do, simply right click, open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. It'll go through, yada yada yada, install client, click OK. Download some stuff, does all of that. Successfully installed, installed Forge Client Profile. Click OK, and now we can delete this. Now we've got this mod. Let's go ahead and install it locally real quick. So go ahead and hit the Windows key on our keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent, app data percent. Hit enter. It will then open up this right here, roaming, where we want to go into dot Minecraft, and then we want to go into our mods folder. As you can see, I've got some stuff there. But what if we don't even have a mods folder? What do we do? Simply right click over here, new folder, title it M O D S, hit enter, and drag the Dr. Ciano Wonderful Wands mod into it. Now let's go ahead and open up that to confirm it's there, and right click on it, copy this mod, and then right click on your desktop and click paste. We want it again because we need to install it on the server. So how do we install it on the server? Very, very simple. Go ahead and hit the uh, Windows key and find FileZilla. For me, it's right there. If it's not right there for you, simply search down here, F-I-L-E-Z-I-L-L-A, -L -L hit enter, and it will open up FileZilla. So let's go ahead and wire into this via FTP. To do that, we want to come in here to the uh, Multicraft control panel, go over here to FTP file access, click that, and you can see connect to YouTube server, and we want to copy all of this stuff, right, so the host, come over to FileZilla, copy that in the host, username, FTP username right there, dead boot, da, 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 da. click that, copy that, come back over here, and paste that, port 21, come over here, and paste that. For your password, that is going to be whatever you use to log into Multicraft. So let me get that real quick. I'll enter it and uh, I'll meet you guys in a second. So now my Multicraft password is entered right there and we can click Quick Connect. 
It'll now go through, connect all of that, bada bing, bada boom, and here we go. Here is our server. Now let's go over here into this little area, and uh, we can go into C name, and then we can go into user for me, which is that, and then go into Nick, and then go into desktop, and right here is what's on my desktop, and as you can see, Sienna's wonderful wands mod right there. Now if we come over here and go into our mods folder on the server, right, so this side is the server, and this side is your local computer. So go into the mods folder on the server, click on Sienna's wonderful mod over here, take it, drag it over into this area, and just like that, it is installed. We can now go ahead and close out of this, go back here to the multicraft page for the server, the YouTube server, and click start. It will now start the server running the mod we just installed. We can confirm this by uh, going and testing it in Minecraft, so let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft here, and uh, we also want to make sure that we do select the Forge version we installed, right? So let's make sure we do that. To do that, go to the profile you want to play. In my case, that's Nick's Games. Hit Edit Profile, and then click right next to Use Version here on Release, or Use Latest Version, whichever one it says for you. Click that, and scroll all the way down to the bottom. You want to make sure you're on Release 1.7.10-Forge, not 1.8, 1.7.10. Click that. Click Save Profile, and we can click Play. Now, I am going to actually do a jump cut here because I've been having some issues whenever I start Minecraft with uh, the audio messing up. So, I'll meet you guys on the main menu. All right, now that we're on the Minecraft main menu, we can simply go into Multiplayer, Direct Connect. I'm going to go ahead and Direct Connect to this server, colon, 255. Five, six, eight. I know what the port is because I have it memorized. You can also get your port from right here. Nevertheless, once you've done that, you can go ahead and click Join Server. It'll go through, log in, download all of that stuff, and crash Forge. I'm going to show you why that happened. We're going to do it in real time. I do not believe in having a crash like that and just saying, I'll be right back. No, I'm going to show you guys how I fix that. If that happens to you, it's a really, really, really easy fix. I also want to apologize for any audio issues you might hear while I'm opening this. Um, simply go into Options here, Video Settings. 18 chunks of uh, graphics render distance doesn't exist. So go ahead and click 14, up that to 16, done, done. Multiplayer, and now if we direct connect again to the server, right, same IP, everything, boom, it works. The reason it did that was because of um, the, uh, the render distance was wrong. Because the render distance was wrong, it crashed out. So let's go ahead and uh, slash game mode one here. I do not opt, so let's opt me on the server real quick. Come over here, simply click on console, and then we'll type OP Nix Games. Hit enter, it'll opt me, and then now I can come over here, type game mode one, hit that, and then we can type in wands. There you go. There is all of the wands that uh, that you can uh, you can get. So we can now shoot uh, shoot off once on the server, ready to go. What you need to remember here is that you must install mods locally as well as on the server. You can't just install it on the server. You've got to install it on your own computer as well. If I were to delete this mod from my own local hard drive, right, in the mods folder in my dot .minecraft and percent app data percent, if I was to delete that mod there, I wouldn't be able to join this server. It wouldn't work. You've got to install mods both on your server and locally for them to work. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out and it means a lot to me. I'm Nick's Games and I'm out, guys. Peace. And there you guys have it, how to install mods on a 24-hour Forge server. If you guys want to check out two videos on your screen right now, the one of them that is down that way is Modtastic Episode 22. That is a modded Minecraft Let's Play where uh, we just have some fun. That's pretty much it. We just have some fun, and we're actually working on building a power farm right now. It's a good Let's Play series. Go check it out in the FTB Unleashed Mod Packs what we're playing. Over on that way, we have how to start a Forge server, a 24-hour Forge server. You've seen how to install mods on it. Now go and start it. That video shows you exactly how to do that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop a like if you enjoyed. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace.